Lazy comedy slacks, tedious setups, predictable facts. Lazy boring comedy slacks. Lazy boring comedy slacks. And on this week's lazy comedy slacks. And then I got off the bus. Ah. Now, comedians will never fail to surprise us with their inventive way of doing the same pullback and reveal joke again and again. So I will now demonstrate the and then I got off the bus joke. You know, the other day I was so, I was really drunk. I woke up, I was naked, I had sick all over me, I had a traffic cone stuck up my bum, I was in a state of priapic excitement. Then I got off the bus. Uh, uh, what? You're on a bus all along? That's right. <laughs> I assumed you must have been on your own at home. No, I was on a bus. Oh, my expectations were confounded, and from thence the humour arose. Indeed. <laughs> Observe once more as I bewitch you all again with my oh, magic. Bewitch me. The other day, I was really badly constipated. I was straining away for about three hours. I just couldn't go. Oh, and finally, my, my, I was managed to release my bowel, and then I got off the bus. Uh, <laughs> You are on the toilet, no, Stu. I was on a bus I all don't along. I believe it. The other day, I was indulging in my own sexual pleasure in the sinful act of onanism. I was there going on and age, age, and, and then I got off the bus. Ah. Yeah, that's happened to me a few times as well, no. Stu. It's embarrassing, isn't it? I didn't yep. want to get off the bus. The police forced me. Yeah, to I, was, <laughs> I was jo joking when I said. Oh, so was I. Ah, I got yeah. off the bus. Ah, ah, Another ah, good ah. tip, actually, in this is to go ah at the end of the phrase, and then I got off the bus, ah, as it gives the impression that you're moving on to a new piece of material and flatters the audience by implying that they are clever to have spotted the joke so quickly. And then I got off the bus, ah. That's right. Okay, can I have a go at it, Steve? No, because you were twi 28 years old, you messed no, that up. No, I'll do it properly, honestly. This time. I've got okay. a really good idea. Okay. Go on, then. You know, I was on the bus the other day, <laughs> and. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop you. No, now, Stu, I'm sorry. don't oh, let me go. I think I'm gonna confound no, you, you here. I think I will. Right. I was on the bus the other day. I got on at Ballam, travelled two stops down a tooting, rang the bell. Then I got off the bus. <laughs> ah. Then I got off the bus. Ah, ah. ah. No. No. Ah. no. Ah. Because the fact that you're on the bus, right, that has to be a surprise. Okay? Oh. And also, the thing you're doing has to be something we couldn't imagine possibly taking place on a bus. I completely right? missed I'll do it again, Shelby. Go. Hold on. Okay, uh, I wasn't on the bus the other day. Uh, <laughs> I was indulging in behaviour you wouldn't expect in such a public place as a bus, because, mm. as I said, I wasn't on a bus. <laughs> then I got off the bus. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Oh. No. Uh, now, uh, oh. for experienced scholars, oh. the and then I got off the bus uh, joke doesn't even have to take place on a bus. Ah, it could be any public place. Other possible punchlines include these. And then I was thrown out of the public library. Ah. <laughs> then I got out of the toddler's paddling pool. Ah. Or the classic. And then I was sacked as head of the girls' boarding school biology department. Ah. <laughs> That's right. I was one of the teachers. Oh, that was a double surprise to you. You're brilliant. Thank you.